Let's start with the most confusing tracking mechanism on missiles, which is the anti-radiation type. The purpose of an anti-radiation missile is to autonomously detect an emitter of radar beams and home into it and destroy it. And for, to show how this works, I've prepared this situation. I flew to this town from the start of the mission and made sure that the enemy could see me before I attacked. And now an enemy strike force is coming in from the north, which you can see on the radar warning receiver over here. That's a passive instrument that detects if radar beams emitted from somewhere are hitting the ship that has a radar warning receiver. And it's a passive device, which means the enemy can see that I'm detecting those radar beams. Now, to prevent the enemy seeing what I'm seeing on his side, I'm going to turn off my own radar, which reduces the chance of getting hit by enemy missile strikes. Okay, so I'm going to wait a bit until it gets closer. Okay, now the target is getting closer, which you can see here by the bars filling. It shows you how close it is. And the zero means it's, it's coming from somewhere, from, from this place here. Let's wait a bit. Okay, now it's relatively close. Oh, I can't tell how close he is. Prepare the missile. KH-15P, that's the anti-radiation variant of the KH-15. Now, now here comes the most confusing part about using missiles in this game. Okay, you activate it. Now you select uh, where you want it to fly. Now the thing is, unlike on other tracking systems, the point you click on doesn't mean that's where the missile is going to end up. It, it means two things. It, it means the direction it is going to fly. And it means when the tracking mechanism on the missile is going to switch on. That's the confusing part about this missile, tip, which is not, I think, documented in the... I think it's not in the, in the game instructions somewhere. So what I'm going to do is, since the target is coming from this direction, I'm going to fire several missiles. One over here. Another one. This. Launch. Another one. That red circle that appeared around the missile. If anything that's emitting a radar crosses that circle, the missile will detect it and home into it. You'll be able to see when the missile finds something when there's an abrupt change in course. But if the enemy is so close, I could switch on the radar so I could probably see him somewhere in the area. However, if I keep the radar off, I reduce the chance of being seen directly and getting hit by missile. <clears throat> ah, you see here? It just changed course. It means it found something over here. Ah, there it is. The enemy has been destroyed. Okay, now if this missile found it, those two missiles are probably going to find it too. And this one detected it. And this one is probably going to hit you. Yep. Made a hard turn to the right side. And that is how we use um, anti-radio missiles. Let's examine how radar homing missiles work. For this demonstration, I've picked the KH-15. Notice it's missing the P at the end, which would designate an anti-radiation missile. Okay, let's select one. Now, as I mentioned uh, in the previous section of the video, the point you click on determines when the homing mechanism of the missile is activated. For example, if I want to overfly this town and hit something behind it, let's say there's an enemy um, fleet that I know about, a thing that I know about, I'm going to click like this. And <coughs> 
Cyrus isn't flying over the city. Because the missile just overflies the city, trying to get to its target. And it was just exposed to anti-aircraft fire. If it would have survived the um, anti-aircraft fire, it would have kept flying and activated the homing mechanism over here. Okay, now, if I wanted to hit the city, it should be K-15. I'm going to purposely aim slightly to the side of it. I'm going to put a tracking mechanism about over here. Uh. You know, the tracking mechanism starts and it has a 90 degree cone in front of it. Unlike the uh, anti radiation missile, anything that is a hard target ship in a city or a fleet, if it gets within that cone, the missile will strike it. See, it found the target, and now it's homing into it. Let's examine the last tracking type in this game, which is not really a tracking type, it's more a specific type of missile. In the previous examples, uh, I discussed um, radar homing and anti radiation um, detection mechanisms. And these can apply for different missile types with different speeds and different ranges. However, there's a special type of missile which is entirely different, which is the R3, and the R3 and the nuclear variant of it. This is a strategic missile, which is a lot faster than any other missile type. It's the fastest moving object in the game. And it has a much bigger range. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, I'm at the start of the game and I can already aim at a huge distance. Now this missile doesn't have a particular tracking system. It's um, you designate a target and it's gonna hit it. Whether it's a fleet that's not moving or um, a stationary target. Okay, I'm clicking anywhere in the circle and it snaps to it. And <laughs> Yeah, notice the cool sirens. And notice this, um, which appears to be some type of elevation indicator, which I think indicates a missile is a type of missile that shoots, um, that climbs into the, um, out of the atmosphere, travels through space and dives back into the atmosphere to hit the target, which explains the staggering speed of that thing. Fully accelerated, it's about, that's about uh, more than 8,000, um, whatever speed unit it is. You can see how fast it moves on the screen without time acceleration. <coughs> Notice it's also in the real time combat screen, it's much faster than any other missile type. This concludes the uh, guide on missile tracking systems in high fleets, and as always, thanks for watching.